Hey guys, welcome back to the motherfucking channel, you dig. So today I am filming a video. As you can tell, bitch, I got the camera out. You know, I'm looking real cute. Period. In today's video, I am filming a q and A. I've been asking you guys to ask me questions. Um, you know, a couple times over the past month or so, you guys have been dry. Mm -hmm. I basically just accumulated the good questions and I'm going to answer them for you guys today like you really care, but I'm just going to get straight into it. I am not good at most things and one thing that I'm not good at is editing. I don't know how to put in like the names like YouTubers do where it's like Tony underscore 33 asked you blah 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 like no I don't know how to do that. And at this point, you're asking for too much, you're being selfish. So, okay, first question is, could you live without the internet? Bitch, the fuck no. I don't really want a world without the internet, you feel me? It's like, that's how I graduated high school. Google search engine. Second off is like, like, so it's like, honestly, I'd rather die. What's the cutest thing you've done for an ex? First off, I don't have any of those. Period. Point blank. Well, bitch, my last ex, he was so broke that I basically was his mother and I paid for everything. So if you count that as fucking cute, bitch, I don't know what the fuck else is cuter than that, being someone's fucking mother and paying for all their food and all their necessities and utilities and all that, but just saying. Um... <clears throat> A cute thing that I did other than that, but in high school I had this crush on this guy and like we were talking for like a long time or whatever. He played baseball and I like knew his favorite snacks, his favorite drinks, like I got him like baseball gear and like baseballs to practice with and like all the shit and I basically bought all the stuff, put it in like this cute ass like nike bag or whatever <laughs> and i wrote him like a cute little note and i took it to his game and i surprised him yeah i'm just the best so period <laughs> who's your celebrity girl crush bitch i'm literally nutting thinking about this bitch right now my celebrity girl crush is definitely danny lay she is she is such a bad bitch. She's musically inclined. This bitch can sing, rap, dance. She's bad as fuck. Body on a thousand. Bro. Bro, bro, bro. Just saying. What is your skincare routine? Your skin is popping. Alright, first off. Is it really though? <laughs> Say it louder. Hold on. <laughs> A lot of people want to know what I do with my skin. <clears throat> I don't do a lot at all. Um, but I was thinking about doing like a little skincare routine video since a lot of you guys ask. But number one tip, baby. Number one tip for clear, glowing skin. It's <clears throat> fuck boy free. All of a sudden, your acne will go away. You will get abs. Your butt will get big, um, you will do better in school, maybe you'll attract the rich man. I don't know, your skin just be going different and I don't know, I think a lot of y'all have peaked, but just saying, just saying. Do you know how to dance to Mexican music? I do not. I think honestly, truly, on some real shit. Get me like three, four, five tequila shots and <laughs> I don't know how to dance with that shit, bro. Are you single? Next. Dream vacation. It was Thailand and Egypt, but I actually, not to to my own horn, but I just actually went to Thailand this summer on a service trip. Um, I actually stayed there for weeks. Two weeks and a little some change you feel me it was one of the best experiences of my life because not only did i get to go somewhere i've always wanted to go i went there for a good cause and i changed some lives when are we linking 
next have you ever been to portugal if you guys don't know this i am portuguese <sighs> to be like specific as fuck i am azorian i'm from the islands off of portugal um i actually have nothing to do with portugal portugal like next to spain but y'all be uneducated as fuck and y'all barely know where portugal is so if i tell y'all i'm azorian you guys will just it will not click. I've been to Portugal. My parents make sure that I am culturally inclined. We try to go there as a family almost mm, every other summer, every couple summers. <laughs> Culture reach, period. What song gets you into your feelings? Because I know you be simping. I do be simping. I have three playlists. Three, not one, two. It's three. Just for sad girl hours, I have one called Simp, I have one called Life Sucks, <laughs> and then I have one called Sad Boy Hours. But um, the song that gets me most in my feelings is Coaster by Khalid. That shit, bitch, will make you cry. I used to listen to that shit in bed when I got my heart broken or whatever. I was in bed and I would just be like, Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for tuning into the motherfucking channel, beach. Thank you for watching, and I shall see y'all later.